brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the accelerator pedal, and the pedal also has a position sensor in it. Um, this is a 2011 Chevy Silverado. This is the same for uh, many GM truck and SUVs um, of, of this time period, basically 2007 to 2013. And um, a pedal that's going bad, you can have hesitation um, in your vehicle, or it's not quite getting full power, or um, and things like that. And even if a sensor really goes bad, then all your uh, um, traction control and service ABS and all that stuff, uh, all your lights will start flashing. Um, but uh, you'll need a new accelerator pedal and sensor from 1AAuto.com, a 10 millimeter socket, T30 Torx driver or a socket, and a ratchet and an extension. Start off, your battery is located on the passenger side, rear of the truck, and you want to disconnect the negative battery cable, loosen up that 10 millimeter nut, and pull the cable up and off, and set it off to the side where it won't contact the battery post. Most people should know where the accelerator pedal is, and it's held in by two T30 Torx screws, one there, and then there's one uh, basically kind of opposite of it on top as well. And disconnect the lead by pulling out on the gray clip. You just stick, work your fingernail under there and pull it back. And then press the clip on the side, or the, there's a tab on the side, press it in and pull the connector off. And then using a T30 Torx bit, uh, and I'm using a socket and ratchet. Um, you could also use just a T30 Torx driver. Remove the two bolts that hold the assembly in place. And new assembly from 1A Auto. It's going to be just like the old assembly. There are two tabs in the back that line up into holes in the mounting surface. Make sure those are lined up. Hold it in place. And then I found it easiest to start the top one first. Give it in a few turns. And then the lower one I kind of loaded onto my Torx bit fed it into place and started it. And then tighten those up and you want them to tighten them nice and firm. Uh, don't over tighten them, you don't want to strip the plastic out. Reconnect your negative battery cable by just reaching in there, put it back on the post, push it down firmly, and then retighten that 10 millimeter nut. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also, check out our other helpful how to as well as diagnosis videos.